So I'm going through addressing all the oil leaks on this engine. We've already knocked out the upper intake manifold gasket. Um, we've already taken care of the rear main seal. Now we need to do the front main. I've already got the seal in place, but we've got a bit of a problem. The seal needs a perfectly flat surface to ride on, otherwise the two lips that are in the seal that actually form the seal over whatever you're trying to keep in or out don't have a perfect edge to ride on if it's not flat. If it's not flat, it has a tendency to tear the seal lips when it's being installed or potentially it could roll it over and then it's not going to seal. And that's normally caused in higher mileage engines by whatever your sealing surface is, like I said, not being flat. On this one, there's a big groove right here where the old seal used to ride. And generally speaking, if your fingernail can hang up in it, you can see my finger jumps off of it, it's, it's not flat enough, it's going to tear out the seal or the seal isn't going to last very long. Now, $160 balancer, which is not currently available, but there's nothing wrong with this one, or you can get a speedy sleeve. These are, this is your installation tool, and this is the part itself. All this does is once you set it over the top, whatever your sealing surface is, you're gonna drive it. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna drive it down in place, and that's going to form just a very thin sheet metal layer over the top that will give you a new nice flat surface. So I'm gonna install this thing real quick. If I can find where I put my hammer. There it is. I've already cleaned up the surface so I won't have any grease or grime <coughs> giving me any grief as it goes on. Set it in place. Try and keep it as flat as you can. And you heard as I was driving it down, the tone of when I was hitting it changing. That's because that tool is trying to bottom out right here. Got just a little bit further to go and it'll really change sound. Hear that sounds getting really sharp and obviously the uh, installation tool is a one-time use works a little bit better if you actually put a block of wood over top of it and a big hammer but little hammer will get the job done now you can see that has provided a complete new ceiling surface we got it bottomed out all the way around and as a measure of safety something i've always done you can use motor oil but i use grease a very small layer of grease around the outside, just like that. And on the V10s, this is not a keyed shaft. Now I'm going to go find my insulation tool. We'll get that drove back down in place. We got our new front main seal. No more oil leaks on this engine.